Sharks are the most terrifying creatures in the entire ocean. In fact, I wanted to make the scariest shark possible and add it into Minecraft. So me and my team created the Mecha Shark, a shark that swims faster, jumps harder, and is overall 10 times stronger than a regular shark. And now I will be playing as the Mecha Shark in game, all while trying to survive till day 100. And just to make things a bit more tricky, I got three of my friends to play fisherman, whose goal it is to stop me from surviving till day 100. On day one I spawned in as a baby shark. Now before I tell you more about this mecha shark, this video is sponsored by Warner Brothers Games. But more on that later. Back to the mecha shark. As you can see, I only have five hearts of HP right now. And if I leave this sunken ship, you'll see that there's three fishermen over there on the dock and their goal is simple. Take me out before day 100. And so we gotta get out of here. But not before opening our shark upgrade menu where we can get more hearts and even stronger powers. Like our first power, Steel Jaw. Where we're gonna get a powerful bite attack by simply completing the three quests you see on screen. Okay, so as a shark, we can't go on land. Otherwise, we're gonna get slowness too. But these quests require I go on land, so we're gonna have to figure something out. Okay, here we go. Okay, the second I leave this boat area, the fishermen are gonna come attack me. So we wanna probably swim this way to get to those trees. Let's do it. Ready? Three, two, one, go, 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 go. Oh, she blows. I'm gonna get a boat. They're swimming towards me, but we're faster in the water. Okay, let's just go this way. There's a tiny tree on this hill. Go. Get that shark. Oh, there's a boat coming in. Go, little shark, go. What is even this shark? Shark's name. If it's not Baby Shark Doo, it is literally Baby Shark Doo Doo Doo. If you get the reference, let me know in the comments below. Okay, keep going. We gotta hit this wood really fast. They're climbing. I see their names. There's one log. Oh god, they're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Come on, get two. Get back here. We got two. We got two. Oh, he's breaking through. He's breaking through. Go this way. Uh, oh, a village. I don't want to go to the village. Actually, let's go this way. We have constant slowness on land. Oh my goodness. Wait, is there a tree in front of me? There is. Get to these trees. Get back here, shark. To the water, to the water, to the water. He's making a break for water. Okay, Watch let's turn that. all of our logs into oak planks. There's one literally on our tail. Go! Oh, I'm gonna get you. Oh, drowning. He's drowning. Okay, take this chance. Make a crafting table. Put the crafting table on the ground. And now quickly make ourselves a wooden sword. Go, go, go. Boom, boom. Wooden sword. Boom, we got it, we got it, we got it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Oh, he bites. Oh. oh, watch out. That's a gun. That one has a neck gun in his hand. We got to be careful of that. Oh, I see him. I see the boat. I see the boat. Hide amongst the grass. Where'd he go? He's in the water somewhere. I don't think he's in Here the go. water. Here we go. Go, go, go. Ow. Dude, I just got hit, dude. Ow. We got, him. we got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. He's down here. He's on me. We got the occupied boat broken. Go, go, swim, swim, swim. Go, go, go. Dolphin. Dolphin, please. Yes. Yes, yeah. Dolphin. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh. Come on. We need to get a critical kill as one of the quests. So let's go up here. Get back, get back here, here, shark. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Yes, we got the quick kill. Oh, dolphin, come here. Give me speeding, buddy. Yes. Now we just have to kill five squids. No. Nice. We killed one squid. Four to go. Four to go. Four to go. But before we go and get all the squids we're going to need, here's a word from today's sponsor, Warner Brothers Games. That game is Harry Potter Magic Awaken, an extraordinary card collecting RPG game based in the Harry Potter universe. In this game, you can collect and upgrade your spells and engage in epic PvP battles where your cards are put to the test. The better you are at PvP, the faster you will rise through the ranks, gain tons of experience, and of course, strengthen your cards. Oh, and if you're a giant Harry Potter fan like I am, then you'll be happy to know that a ton of locations that you know and love can be found in the game, like Hogwarts Castle and the Forbidden Forest. See, doesn't that game sound awesome? Let me tell you why I need all of you watching to download Harry Potter Magic Awakened. If you have what it takes to beat me, download the game right now on either Android or iOS by simply clicking the link in the description down below or by scanning that QR code you see above one of my hands. In fact, Harry Potter Magic Awakened came out back on June 27th, so anyone in the world can play the game right now. Oh, and I really wouldn't wait to download the game either because the more time I have to play, the more time I can collect stronger and stronger cards, like the baby Antipodian Opala, which is basically a flying dragon that shoots out fire and deals a ton of AoE damage. So do not wait. Download the game right now by once again clicking that description down below or scanning that QR code above right now because I'm ready and waiting to duel a bunch of you guys in Hogwarts. <gasps> I see a squid, but it's right by their dock. No way. Okay, we got to go for it. We got to go for that squid. Straight way. Yeah, that's straight way. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, we got a dolphin. We got a dolphin. Yes. We killed the squid. We killed the squid. We just need to find a few more squids. Ah! Him. He's over here. Oh, I see him. <gasps> squid, squid, squid. Come on, come on, come on. One, two, three. Yes, he's gone. Squid over here. One, two. Three. Oh, I found him, guys. Ooh. Go, go. Yeah, One more squid. Yes, we got it. Okay, quick. Let's unlock our first power. Steel jaw. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna hit. Yeah, it's over for you, shark. And now let's yeah. grab him. Oh, Look at this. Oh, oh, he's oh, bleeding oh. in my teeth. Oh. Get him. Let me go. Let me go. He's done. He's done. Yes. Okay, the others are coming in right here. On us, on us. Dive, dive, dive. Let's get this one. We got him. This one's bleeding. Uh, hello? He's gone. Now let's get this one. You're not getting me. No. What? No, please. Yes, they're all gone. 
<laughs> and with that, I'm going to take your boat. And we are out of here. And now let's just go find a place to start building our shark base. I'm not going to build anything too complex. I just need to build something basic so we can survive for now. And honestly, who knows? I might even build it here. This little jungle hill is looking kind of cool. After unlocking our new steel jaw ability, I went ahead and began building our first mecha shark base, which kind of turned out to be a little bit basic, but that's fine. Because all I care about right now is unlocking more shark powers. Okay, so welcome to the first mecha shark base. It's really, really basic. We just put some sea pickles in for light. We got some chests, some furnaces, and our bed, which right now is literally all we should need. But anyway, even though I'm stuck in this tiny small box, let me show you how hidden this base is. You see, if I go through this trap door right here, you're gonna see that I end up in this giant cave. And this is where I go mining mostly. But if we swim through this tiny hole right here, you're gonna see that we get spit out back into the cave we originally found. And then we can simply swim to the surface. Then we can simply swim up here, go through this tiny hole, and we're back to the river. So yeah, overall, I'd say this base is pretty hidden, which is why now that we have a hidden base, we have to start working on some upgrades. And there is one upgrade I am required to get. Now, as I mentioned earlier, when I'm running on land, I automatically get slowness one, which wouldn't be a problem except for the fact that I'm being hunted down by three fishermen. So to get rid of this slowness one weakness, we're gonna give our shark legs. No, I'm not kidding. Right now, you can see we're just swimming and flopping around the ground. But if I go into my mecha shark upgrade menu, you're gonna see there's an upgrade called transforming mecha legs, which means I can become a shark with actual legs. Now to unlock these legs, I just have to get two levers, 16 bones, and 32 packed mud. So let's start by grabbing our oak planks from this chest and making ourselves some sticks. Then let's grab our cobblestone and let's make the two levers that we're gonna need. Now that we have those complete, we just need to get 16 bones or 32 packed mud. And since my cave is right here, let's start killing some skeletons for their bones. Oh, boo, yeah, we got a golden apple. Let's go. Oh, and a bunch of bones. Okay, perfect. And just like that, we got all the bones we're gonna need, which means now it's time to get the final item we're gonna need for the upgrade, which is just 32 pack mud. So let's just swim up here real quick and over into this river. And now let's start looking around for a mangrove swamp biome. Since that's the only place in the game we can actually get mud. <gasps> oh, that's a mangrove tree. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Yes, we finally found mangrove. All oh, right, is the sun setting too. That is perfect timing. Okay, let's just make our way over to this mangrove biome real quick and grab some of the mud that's here. Okay, there we go. We now have all the mud that we're gonna need. But if we look carefully at this quest, we don't need regular mud, but we need packed mud. And to make packed mud, we just have to add some wheat to the current mud we just mined. So tomorrow, we'll simply head to a village and steal all their wheat. Okay, so here's the village that's near spawn. So let's just quickly go through here and grab all the wheat blocks we can find on the ground. So let's just grab these real quick. And now let's take all of these hay bales and let's turn them into wheat. And then if we combine that with our mud, you're gonna see that we now get a bunch of packed mud, which is all we need to get our transform mecha legs. So now we're officially a shark that runs on land with legs. That's right, no more swimming on land for me because with these legs I no longer have slowness one while on land which is honestly really important because now I can travel throughout the whole world and not have to worry so yeah being a shark with legs I'm not gonna lie is pretty awesome but not quite as awesome as our next upgrade that we're gonna unlock because from here we're gonna stop being a baby shark with only five hearts of HP and instead we're gonna become the electric eater with 10 total hearts of HP strength one and jump two now to actually become an electric eater we just need to get a music disc 128 lapis lazuli and 10 pumpkin seeds and since that sun is starting to set over over the horizon right now. I'm just gonna stick to getting the pumpkin seeds because there's a group of pumpkins right here behind me. So let's just grab our axe and start cutting these things down. And then we can take all those pumpkins and turn them into pumpkin seeds. And just like that, the first quest is complete. And now let's get the music disc and lapis tomorrow. Okay, here we go. Here's some lapis down in the cave. Let's start by mining this real fast, just because it's right next to me. But lapis isn't actually what we're going for right now. You see, I'm actually down in this cave exploring because now that I have legs, I can go deep into this cave without being worried. And the reason I wanted to do that is right in front of me because we found an abandoned mine shaft, one of the best places to find music discs. So let's just look around this area and see if we can find a chest somewhere. Uh, so I've been looking for about 10 minutes. Um, I couldn't find a single chest anywhere in that abandoned mine shaft so i'm just gonna give up and go somewhere i know i could find one and that's an ancient city because those always have music discs now it is a little bit risky to head to an ancient city while i only have five hearts of hp but i genuinely want to get this music disc done with so let's just go find one so after failing to find a music disc in the abandoned mine shaft i simply went to an ancient city where i knew i could find one okay i just found something really cool i found an ancient city like i was looking for but i also found an abandoned mine shaft in the middle of it so that's unique and cool but anyway we're just here for a music disc so we're gonna play this pretty carefully. Okay, let's check this chest. Oh yeah, we already got a music disc. There we go, we're done. Now let's just loot this place up until a warden's about to spawn because we can get some really early OP gear right now. Oh, we still have another. Okay, nothing still. Oh, we get some protection three iron pants. There we go. Okay, we can only set off one more before a warden spawns. So with that, we're sneaking out of here. After the ancient city raid, I started to head home. And on the way home, I bumped into a random ship in the middle of the ocean. This had to be the fisherman's base, but no one was there. So I decided just to leave it and keep going home where this happened. 
Oh, there's a hunter. God, there's a hunter. They see me. Oh, no, 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 no. Drag him, drag him, drag him. Oh, I see the shark. I see the shark. Yeah, I see him. Whoa, whoa. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Ow. Dude, oh. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, God. Go this way. Run in the cave. They can't get me in the water cave. Oh, kill him. Kill him. No. Yes, we got him. Ow. Oh, I'm this way. Quick, dive, 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 dive. They're behind me. They're behind me. They're behind me. Oh, is this the entrance to his base? Oh, God. That's not the entrance. That's not the entrance. That's not the entrance. Where'd he go? Did he swim out? I don't think they saw me. I don't think they saw me. Nice. They went for the cave. No shot. Nice. They didn't see me. Oh, my goodness. We actually got away from that. Let's go. Okay, we survived that, but we don't have any time to waste. We still have to go get some lapis lazuli as we only have half of what we need right now. So since it's still day 16, let's just wrap up getting all the lapis we need. So that way we can just do the upgrade tomorrow. Oh, I see some lapis. Go away. Okay, there we go. That's all the lapis. Okay, so with all that lapis in hand, we are now officially the electric eater, which is this giant looking shark right here who's, who's full of wires and made of metal. But his appearance isn't the only thing I love because I finally actually have 10 hearts of HP and things aren't just gonna one shot me anymore. But anyway, now that we have this incredible shark unlocked, it's time to work on our tier two upgrades. Now look, I know technically speaking, this was the first tier two upgrade, but now it's time to work on the other two tier two upgrades, okay? So let's start with the first one, which is called Fins of Fury, which actually has our first 1.2 20 quest we have to complete and that's hatching a sniffer now if you don't know the sniffer is the brand new mob added to minecraft in 1.20 and to hatch it we need to dig one up so there's this new item in minecraft called a brush that i can craft by combining a stick a copper and a feather a stick some copper and when combined with a feather we get a brush okay so now that we're in a warm ocean i apparently just have to look for some miscolored sand and then right click it with my brush but the hard part is finding that miscolored sand because i haven't seen any at all in this warm ocean okay just nearby i found this warm ocean room so let's just kill the drown that are in this area real quick. And now I read online specifically around this area, it should be easy to find suspicious stand because it looks just like this. So let's right click this and you're going to see I get an item out of it. So in this one, I just got a gold nugget, but there's a chance one of these drops a sniffer egg. So let's just brush you. Yes, there we go. We got the sniffer egg, which is honestly great because I've never actually hatched a sniffer before. And this seems like a fun little project we can do. So with the egg in hand, let's just quickly swim on home. Okay, so now that we actually have the sniffer egg, we got to hatch it, which is way easier said than done because the fastest way to actually hatch a sniffer is to put it on some moss blocks, which means I have to go down to the caves real quick and grab some more moss. Here we go. This stuff should do. And now we're just going to build a little platform for this guy to hatch on. So let's clear up all this grass up here real quick. Okay, now let's just put down the moss blocks in a three by three pattern like this. And let's throw our sniffer egg in the center. And now I've got to sit on top of this egg until it's incubated. Or at least that's what a YouTube short told me. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to guard this egg until it hatches. Oh, the egg cracked. Look at it. I see a little crack in that egg. Yeah, we're getting there. I just got to keep standing on it and guarding it. This is getting very boring. I saw it hatch. Oh, I'm back. The sniffer is here. Yes, we've officially hatched a sniffer. Hello, my beautiful little friend. I'm going to trap you in a bunch of moss blocks real quick. Okay, cool. We got the sniffer trap. And with him hatched, there's only a couple more quests we got to do. So let's just quickly sleep. And now it's day 19. Okay, so now that we have our little sniffer buddy down here, we just have to attach six different mobs to fence posts and use our steel jaw to take out the fisherman. Now, luckily earlier, we found a lead in a chest. So let's grab that lead. I can attach a lead between the sniffer and this fence. And that's our first mob fenced up. Now let's grab the lead back. And now let's get this squid on a lead and put him on the fence next. Oh, wait, did the lead break? Oh, it did. Hold on. Let's put the fence in the water and then attach it to the squid. Ready? Oh, we got him. We got him. That's two animals. Let's see if we can attach one of these fish, maybe. No, you can't attach fish or these types of mobs. So instead, let's go attach this cow, this chicken, this pig, and this sheep. And now we've officially completed our second quest. Meaning all we have to do now is get four kills with our steel jaw on the fishermen. But we still haven't even gone to their base yet. And since we know where their base is, let's start heading there now so we can get the four kills we need. Okay, their players are starting to render in. I can literally see them in the distance. Let's dive underwater so they don't see us coming up. And let's go deep under here. Now we just have to get four kills with our steel jaw. Climb up the side of their ship real fast. Ready? Here we go, ready? Wait! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah! Kill him? Nice, we got him with our steel jaw. Where'd the other one go? I dropped him in the water. No, you don't. You're mine. I got him, I got him, I got him. He's, he's stuck on my mouth. Come here, you. Yes, he's dead. That's two. Okay, back in the water, back in the water, back in the water. He eats some food. Oh, he's coming in. He's dying. He's dying. Get out of here, shark. Dude, oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, he's trying to escape. No, you don't. No, let me up. Let me up. No. Got him. That's three. And whoop. No, you don't. Oh, 
Help me! Okay. Nice, we got him. That's all the kills we need. Okay, quick, go this way. Now let's unlock our fins of fury. And let's try these things out. Oh my goodness, let's try these. These have got to be good, right? Oh, hello. Let's see what this does. Ready? Oh! We see you, Get shark. Over here. Oh! Okay, it definitely did damage to them both. Oh, they're hurting. Oh, they're both taking damage. Okay, let's get him here. Ready? Get him again. Oh, I killed him with it. Where is he? Oh, ah! Okay, it says this ability should also destroy blocks. Let's try it on their base. Oh, it destroys their base too. No, he's destroying our boat. There we go. We did it. We did it. We did it. We destroyed their base. Go, 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 go. Run. We are out of here with our new lunging power unlocked. Okay, we did it. We unlocked our fins of fury. Oh, I fell. Which allows us to dash extremely far through literally any block we want. But don't get confused. This isn't a mining ability because the blocks I break don't drop at all. This is just helpful for breaking blocks, which will be useful if I ever want to expand this base. But for now, let's get back to upgrading because right now our mecha shark is still super duper weak. In fact, we're probably going to be weak until we unlock laser turrets on our back later on. So in the meantime, let's get a different upgrade that's going to get us health as well. And that's our can of anchovies upgrade. Hey, look, it's a green parrot. Anyway, to unlock the can of anchovies, we just have to get 16 orange stained glass, 30 raw salmon, and 30 rotten flesh. And since I'm right next to the water, let's go get some salmon. That was broken. I could take out groups of salmon in a single swoop. See these three salmon right here? Toast. And there we go. Now we just pick up their fish. Okay, there we go. We got a bunch of salmon now. But it looks like the sun's starting to set beyond the hill. So we're gonna have to finish the rest of these quests tomorrow. Okay, well, since we have all the salmon, now let's just go down to the cave and start getting some rotten flesh together. But before we go, let's actually check our chest and see if we have any rotten flesh. We actually have five already, which means we only have to get 25 more. So let's go down to the caves and let's start killing some zombies now that we have all our salmon done with. <laughs> Okay, there we go. We have 30 rotten flesh, which means the last thing we have to get is orange stained glass, which we can make by simply surrounding some glass with some orange dye. And we can only get orange dye from either a torch flower, an orange tulip, or by combining some red and yellow dye. Now, we could easily get a torch flower now that we have a sniffer, which would get us the orange dye we need. But to be honest, it's probably going to be easier just to grab some red and yellow flowers from a field like this one where I can literally already see a red and yellow flower. So let's just grab you and you. And now when we combine the two red poppies together, we get red dye. And when we combine the two red dandelions, we get yellow dye die. When we combine those two dyes together, we get two orange dye, which means we now have enough dye to make the stained glass we need. Now let's just dig up 16 sand real quick. And now let's throw that sand inside of these two furnaces. Now let's grab all that glass and let's combine it with our orange dye to get ourselves all the orange stained glass we're going to need. And with that in hand, we can officially unlock our can of anchovies. This brand new item in my inventory right here. Now let me actually show you what this can of anchovies does. If I let this skeleton just start hurting me real quick, my hunger should start to go down. There we go. Now it's just going to kill you. And now I can eat the can of anchovies, which you're going to see gives me regeneration too, and is going to fill up my hunger by five hunger bars. But there's one other thing this ability does. You'll see that if I eat the can of anchovies in this cave, that I actually also get a speed boost underwater. So now I'm swimming much faster. And this also gives me a speed boost on land too. So with the anchovies unlocked, we're officially done with our tier two upgrades. And this is where the upgrades actually start getting fun. And by fun, I mean insanely strong. Because our next upgrade is officially the mounted laser turret. The upgrade I've definitely been most excited for. And looking at the quest line, it's really not too bad. We just have to kill three players with our fins of fury, get hero of the village, and craft a raft. Wait, what? A raft? What is a raft? A bamboo raft. Oh, look at that. Bamboo plank. Well, look at that. Another 1.20 thing I didn't even know existed. But luckily, it's an upgrade that's super easy to do because we are surrounded by jungles. And in fact, if we just hop in the water real quick and swim this way a little bit, we can go to a bamboo jungle and just get a bunch of bamboo. I mean, come on. Look at all this bamboo. We can just easily cut it down and grab a bunch of it. Okay, now we have a bunch of bamboo. So now let's just grab this log and let's turn this into a crafting table real fast. And now let's take our bamboo and put it in a group of nine like this to make ourselves a block of bamboo. And now if we put these blocks of bamboo inside the crafting table, we can get some bamboo planks, which we can then use to craft ourselves our first bamboo raft. Now a shark doesn't really need a raft, but as you can see, my shark is tired and even he likes to take a nice boat ride once and again. Where'd my sniffer go? Okay, wait, I just got back to the base and my sniffer's gone. Hold up. What happened to my sniffer? Wait, what? There's someone in my base? Yo, we're being careful going in here. There very well could be someone in here. I don't see any names. Nothing this way. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, they're in there. They're in there. They're in there. Go, go, go back here. Back here. Back here. I'm going. I'm going. Get back here, Mecha Shark. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Here, quick, go this way. They have neck guns. They have neck guns. They have neck guns. Swim up here. Oh, God. Okay, let's just put a hole here. <laughs> let's see if this works. You're right. I'm you're right. Air. Air. I need air. Oh, no. They're just sitting down there. They're just waiting for me. We're going to have to go back down there. Go. Ooh. Yeah, I see him. He's on me, he's on me! No, dude, I'm dead! Back off, back off, back off. This way, this way, this way. Heal up. Okay, we're hidden again. The names are still down there. 
Okay, let's go back down. We got one down. Here we go. He's here. He's here. He's here. Yeah, that's right. They're on us. We'll go this way, this way. Yeah, I think I trapped him. I think I trapped him. No, they got me in the net. Okay, we cut our way out. We just had to chop. We just had to chop. Break this, break this, break this, break this. Why can't I get out? I can't get out. Oh, no, we're in trouble. Hold on. Nice, we're free, we're free, we're free. Yes. Dive, dive, dive. Oh, we're low, we're low, we're low, we're low. Dive, dive, dive. Back to the base. They can't breathe like I can. This way? Up here. Oh, they've already been through. They've already been through. There we go. We're going to trap him here. Watch this. There's no way through now. There's no way through. As they come in there, they're going to get hit. Watch. He's stuck. Oh, he got me. He got me. He got me. But I got him bleeding. Yes, he's dead. Oh, gosh. Oh, no! Last one's right, literally right here. Watch this. If I break this block and this block... Oh, he's coming up. He's coming up. We got him. We got the other one. We got the other one. He's done. He's done. He's done. We got him trapped. Yes! And just like that, he's dead. But oh my god, they literally took everything. They literally took almost everything I had item-wise. Okay, well, this base is definitely toast. So we're just gonna grab whatever items we can left from here. And then move to a base that's much farther away. But before we do, rest in peace, Sniffer. I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Okay, let's go make a new base. Since my base was raided by the fishermen, I moved super far away to a new mecha shark base. However, while I was moving, one of the fishermen actually decided to attack me. We were able to kill him with our fins of fury, but he was definitely trying to figure out where where our new base was gonna be hidden. Okay, so welcome to our brand new Mecha Shark base. But this time I decided to design it so it would look like a giant fish tank on land, which also gives me the ability to jump in the water over here. And down here is where we find our nether portal. And of course, this is where we exit. And of course, this is where we also exit to the surface by just swimming up here. But anyway, enough of that. We still have to get two more kills with our fins of fury on the fisherman if we wanna finish this quest. And seeing as this quest is gonna unlock us our laser turret, you know we gotta go take on the fisherman. So let's start making our way over to their base and let's pay them a lesson. Okay. We're at their boat. Okay, hold on. Let's destroy the bottom of their boat real quick. There we go. We took out their mine shaft. Can I fit up this hole? No. No, I don't. Okay, hold up. Can we break inside somehow? <sighs> they hear blocks breaking. Oh, no. Oh, I see a name under us, fellas. Oh, gosh. Oh, yep. They found me. We need to get two, just two more kills with our fins of fury. They're in a group. Let's do it. Let's get it with fins of fury again. They got me. They got me. Oh, dive, dive, dive. They got me in the net. We're good. Oh, we just got three of them! Back here. I'm shield, oh. shield, shield. No, oh. dude, what? All three of us? Did I, just, I just took out all three of them. Oh my gosh! Well, there's all the kills we need. So now just take out their boat. Oh, oh my no, god, our pace! The shark! Uh oh. Don't do it again, don't do it again. Oh my goodness, he did it again. Oh my goodness, we got two more of them. We are destroying them. He's trying to shoot me with his net. He's done, he's done, he's done. No, no! He said, yes, we got him. And look at all these goodies floating around. And now that we're done with that, let's swim on home. Okay, so now it's time for the final quest, which is just getting Hero of the Village. And luckily, getting Hero of the Village is super easy to do. First things first, let's head over to this pillager tower right near the base. And now let's look for a bannerman somewhere at this pillager tower. We just gotta find the guy with the banner above his head. I don't see him though. Oh, there's a bannerman. I see one. Finally, we can go get him. And there we go. Now we have Bad Omen. And now that we have Bad Omen, we just have to go to a village and complete a raid. Okay, let's do this raid. There's a bunch of them. We just gotta take them all out. Ready? Easy. You're dead. And boom. Now just eat some food and let's go on to round two. Oh, that poison's gonna hurt. How long do I have it? 30 seconds? Oh, no. That's gonna be really bad. Let's get up on a roof somewhere. Oh, no, 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 no. Heal, 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 heal. Ooh, heal, 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 heal. Oh, run, 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 run. Oh, we gotta get away. We gotta get away. Do not lose this raid, though. Gollum, get them. They're in here. There's the last two are in here. <laughs> Yes, we are officially the hero of the village, which is the last quest we need to do. So now we can officially unlock our mounted laser turret, our brand new ability that literally lets us shoot out lasers like this. Like, I can't even see my screen. Well, look at this. That's gonna make fighting so much easier. Okay, maybe I don't deserve to be hero of the village anymore. I just kind of murdered a bunch of villagers. But anyway, with that finished, let's get on out of here and let's start working on our next tier three upgrade. Okay, so now that we're done with that raid, it's still day 35. We might as well start working on our next tier three upgrade, which is this mecha tool right here. Then to unlock it, we need a bunch of different things. But the first thing we need Need is a bunch of regeneration potion, which means we're going to the nether. Okay, welcome to the nether. Oh, we shot. Please don't you dare hit my portal. Don't hit my portal. Okay, gas down. Now let's go over here real quick where we're a bit safer. And let me tell you what we got to do. So if we look at the mecha tool, we have to get three water breathing potions. And to get a water breathing potion requires us to get an awkward potion and combine it with a puffer fish. And luckily that's super easy to do. So let's just quickly find ourselves another fortress and get some blaze rods and some nether warts. Okay, perfect. We made our way to another fortress. Now let's just quickly cross this little lava gap here. And we're inside the fortress. Okay, now we just have to go look for some nether warts and some blaze rods. Okay, whatever. Not really worried about it. We gotta find ourselves some nether warts. Oh, this just has three diamonds in it. Oh, and this one's got some more stuff in it. 
Oh, a ton of iron and nether warts. Yes. Okay, we'll take those nether warts. And now we just need to get ourselves a blaze rod, which uh, should be pretty easy because there's blazes literally everywhere. And now we have everything we need from the nether. So let's go ahead and let's get out of here. And with that, we can finally head on home. Okay, so now that we're back from the nether, let's go up to the surface and head to a warm ocean real quick because to finish a water breathing potion, we're gonna need a puffer fish. So let's quickly head over to a warm ocean. Okay, now that we're at a warm ocean, we just have to look for a puffer fish, which uh, I think, oh, that is one right there. It's literally right in front of us. Come here, you. Oh, there's one. Oh, you almost got me, little puffer. Okay, cool. We got a puffer fish. So now let's go ahead and let's make ourselves a quick brewing stand and let's put it on the ground right here. And now let's make ourselves three water bottles and let's fill them full of water. Now when we add them to the brewing stand, we simply add ourselves a nether wart and a blaze powder for energy. And that's gonna turn these water bottles into awkward potions. Then let's add the puffer fish. And now we have three water breathing potions. And with those in hand, there's only two more quests to do, but they're both super easy. But if we look around our chests, we already have all the diamonds we're gonna need. Let's just make ourselves some sticks and then quickly make ourselves a diamond pickaxe. And then the final thing we need is just 150 redstone dust, which I know I don't have enough of. So let's just go down to the mine and go get some redstone. Okay, there we go. That's all the redstone we're gonna need, which means we can officially unlock our mecha tool, our brand new item in our inventory that can switch between a shovel, a pickaxe, a hoe, an axe, a flint and steel, a fishing rod, shears, and a bow. And best of all, that bow is infinity, so I get infinite arrows now. But yeah, this multi-tool is really cool because it makes it so I have now a ton of different things I can bring out during a fight and have tons of options that I can use. With that multi-tool unlocked, we are officially halfway through this challenge. In fact, because we unlocked that when we did, we're actually doing great on time as it's only day 37. Anyway, it's officially time to stop being an electric eater. And now it's actually time to become a full-grown mecha shark. Because if we look at this upgrade, it says we're gonna have 20 total hearts, strength two, jump four, and we're gonna get plus two blocks of extra reach, which is really overpowered. And luckily unlocking mecha shark isn't too difficult as we just have to get a recovery compass, a goat horn, and 16 glow berries. And since I actually I already know where to get some glow berries. Let's quickly swim over to that lush cave real quick and grab some. Okay, let's grab all these glow berries real quick because we really don't need that many. And there we go. There's all the glow berries we're gonna need. And now since we have the glow berries, let's actually make our way back to the ancient city real fast that we found earlier because now we need to get a recovery compass. And the only place to get one of those is an ancient city. Okay, cool. We're back in the ancient city. Now let's just go ahead and let's start looting some of these chests and see if we can get some echo shards for our recovery compass. Okay, let's go in this chest here. Well, we got one echo shard. Oh, we set up a shrinker, we set up a shrinker. Check it, nothing. Okay, we got two golden apples, but no echo shards. <gasps> yes, we got four more echo shards. Let's go. And we got the best music disc in the game. Kick it. Okay, we literally just have to find four more echo shards. That's it. Okay, we set up a shrinker again. Nope, no echo shards in that chest. <gasps> Three more. Is that all we need? I think that's all we need. We have all the echo shards we're gonna need. Yes, we can get out of here, finally. Oh, we didn't even summon a warden. We got so lucky. And now we're home where we can quickly craft this recovery compass. And now all we need left is to get a goat horn. But finding a goat horn is gonna be kind of difficult because I still haven't even found a mountain that spawns goat. Yet. So let's start looking because there could literally be one anywhere. It took a couple of days of searching, but on day 43, I found a mountain where tons of goats were spawning. Okay, we found a giant mountain and I think this should be big enough to start spawning goats. Oh, in fact, I see a goat way up there, which means this mountain is definitely spawning goats. Now let's just go get their horn from one of them. Okay, so now we have this big smooth ice area on top, which is actually going to be perfect for trapping these goats. So let's just quickly fill this in this hole. Okay, and let's see if we can get one of these goats to ram us. Yes, we got him. And we got his goat horn, which honestly, that was probably the fastest I've ever gotten a goat horn. So round of applause for me. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Okay, anyway, I'm heading home. And now that we have the goat horn, we can become the mecha shark. Our giant mecha-like shark you see on screen right now. Except now you're gonna see we actually have our turret on our head, just like we're supposed to. And now we resemble a great white shark. My personal favorite. But anyway, now that we've unlocked the mecha shark, it's now time to start working on our tier four upgrades, which is great timing because our next upgrade is literally broken. And that upgrade is a heat seeker seeking missile, an ability that's gonna make me near unstoppable. In fact, to unlock it, I just need to get five kills with my mounted laser turret, get the this boat has legs advancement, and then ride a camel with a saddle. In fact, let's go to this chest right here and grab one of our saddles, and now let's start making our way to the nether, so that way we can now ride a boat with legs. If you still haven't caught on what a boat with legs is yet, by the way, it's that guy right there, a strider. So to ride one, we're just gonna need to grab this mushroom right here, because if you wanna have control of a strider, you're gonna need a warp fungus on a stick. So now let's head back to the base and combine our warp fungus with a fishing rod, there we go. Okay, now that we're near the lava, let's just get close to a strider. Okay, the strider is literally just ahead of us. We just have to get it to us. Oh, he's coming in. He sees the stick. Yes. Yes. We're riding him. We are a shark riding on a boat with legs. Now, uh, how do we actually get this advancement? Oh, wait, there it is. We finally got it. I was just walking around and it finally appeared. And now that we're done with this, let's make our way back to the base. Now, if we take another saddle over here to this desert village, there should be a camel somewhere inside of it. Oh, right here. Is this a camel? Oh, it is. And I think if I put this camel on it, I can then ride it. Yes, I can. Look at this. I'm riding a 
camel. Okay, so now that we've ridden a camel, all we have to do is get five kills with our mounted laser turret. So let's just head back to the fisherman's base and let's pay them a visit. And so I made my way to the fisherman's base, which turned out to be abandoned, by the way. So I had to look for their new base, which I found only a couple of days later. Okay, there's a boat out here. Oh, wait, I see them. Watch this, ready? And... Ooh, oh my God! What was that? Oh, it just took out the dock. Okay, now here's the thing. We need to get kills with our laser turret. Oh, he got me with the thing. We killed one though. Nice, we got him, dive. Oh, we got him, yes. Oh God, that hurts. No. That's three. Nice, we got him. That's another one down. One more to go. Oh, right on us. Yes, we got him. I shot him once. He's got to be low. That's all the kills we needed. Quick, this way, this way, this way. Now let's unlock our missile launcher and let's use it to take them out. Ready? Okay, let's start locking onto him, locking onto him. The second they get to land, let's get him. Ready? Let's pretend we're running away. Oh, we're running. Oh, here they come. Yes, we blew one up. The missiles, man. No! This is impossible. I can't defend from this. No. <laughs> oh, we blew two up. Only one more to go. He's right behind us. Ready? And... Oh, let's get out of here quick before they get back here. Okay, so our new missile launcher ability is kind of broken. I mean, just look at this. It shoots up missiles in all directions at all mobs targeted. And whether or not they're through the ground doesn't matter. They're dead. But with that thing unlocked, it's actually time to unlock a defensive move, which is a flashbang launcher. And if you don't know what that is, surprise flashbang. That is a flashbang. And I'm going to be able to do that to the fishermen every single time they get near me. So let's unlock that by getting 16 sweet berries, 30 fermented spider eyes, and four daylight detectors. Starting with the spiders, since I know where an absolute boatload of spider spawners are. Oh, I found one. I found one. I found one. No, no, no. Give me the back. Okay, let's start clearing this out and getting these spiders to spawn. Okay, I cleared out this spider spawner right here. Now we're just going to wait here for spiders to start spawning, and we're going to grind it for their spider eyes. Okay, there we go. We got 30 different spider eyes now. And now to finish turning them into fermented spider eyes, we're just gonna need some brown mushrooms and sugar. So let's start by heading out and grabbing some brown mushrooms first, just because I know where a few are already. Okay, cool. There's a giant brown mushroom right in front of me. Let's go grab it. So let's just switch to our mecha axe real quick, which will make cutting this down really fast. And now we just have to wait till we get 30 total brown mushrooms. There we go. There's the 30 brown mushrooms we need. And now since we're already near a spruce biome, let's go grab some sweet berries. And there's some sweet berries right here. And now let's just grab some sugar to finish up our fermented spider eyes. And then this upgrade's pretty much done with. And that's all the sugar cane we need. Now if we turn all of our sugar cane into sugar and combine it with our spider eyes and brown mushrooms, we're gonna get fermented spider eyes. And now to finish up getting the flashbang, all we need to do is get four daylight sensors, which are just made with three glass, three nether quartz, and three slabs. And since we already have a ton of glass in this chest and we have a ton of wood, we just have to get some nether quartz. So we're going back to the nether. And now that we have 15 nether quartz, and there we go, just like that, we can make ourselves the four daylight sensors we need, which means we have everything we need to unlock the flashbang launcher, our brand new launcher that does this. It shoots out a flashbang that then sends everyone flying and makes them blind, which I'd say is pretty overpowered. But anyway, with the flashbang finished on day 52, it's now time to work on Robo Jaws on day 53. Now, if we look at the upgrade menu and go to Robo Jaws, you're going to see that to unlock them, we just need three skull catalysts, 32 warp fungus, and 32 weeping vines. And I'm not going to lie, two of those things is super easy to get. Like, if I go to the nether, I can get both those things done super fast. In fact, the only hard thing about getting Robo Jaws is getting three skull catalysts. So we'll just worry about that later. And for now, just go Go grab some of these vines and funguses. Okay, so let's start by getting these vines. There we go. There's 32 weeping vines. Now let's just start grabbing some of these blue mushrooms. Okay, and there we go. Now we get 40 warp fungus. And now with both those in hand, we just have to get three skull catalysts and we'll already have unlocked robo jaws, which means now we got to head back to an ancient city because that's the only place I know you can actually get a skull catalyst. And normally you'd need silk touch, but you can also find them in the chests. And that's kind of what I'm going to bank on here. So let's just start checking out these chests and seeing if we can get any skull catalysts inside. There's none inside of this chest. Okay, let's go check this one over here. Oh, see, there we go. We got our first one. Skull catalyst. Yes. <gasps> yes, another one. Oh my God, that's two back to back. We literally just got to find one more. Yes, a third one. We have all three skull catalysts, which means we can already become robo jaws but before we do that let's just quickly head to the surface okay so now that we're on the surface let's become robo jaws our tier 4 mecha shark upgrade that is designed to look like a hammerhead shark and obviously has massive teeth as well on top of that you're also going to notice i now have 30 total hearts of hp and three blocks of extra reach meaning this is definitely going to be one of the strongest sharks we've unlocked yet okay we're back at the base let's just go store up our stuff real quick <gasps> oh teethy oh my god we're dead <laughs> oh we lived our stuff let's store everything in chests go oh god oh we're in trouble one. He's got me. He's got me. Two. Dude, what? 
Oh my god, yes! Oh, I killed them all! I should so be dead. They had me toast there. Oh my god, we are so lucky to be alive right now. Most of our stuff survived, luckily, too. Okay, well, with the base destroyed, we're definitely gonna have to move bases again. But I'm not gonna lie, my heart is pounding, and I'm just kind of happy I'm alive right now. So I have to move bases again, which is really annoying, as we just moved a little while ago. But because I have no choice, I decided to build a base fitting for our new super strong mecha shark. Okay, so welcome to our brand new mecha shark base. Can you see it down below? I've kind of disguised it. Well, if you couldn't, it's right down here among all this coral. And when you swim inside, you are welcome to the new and giant Mecha Shark base. We've got a nether portal. We've got lava generators, auto smelters, a literal farm, and an enchanting table. I mean, this base has pretty much got everything I'm going to possibly need. But anyway, now that we're at this base, it's time to work on our final three upgrades, which literally all require stuff from the end. So that means that's where I'm going next. So let's start by heading into our nether portal and going to the nether. And let's head over to this nether fortress right here. So that way we can quickly get some blaze rods. Okay, that is 10 total blaze rods now, which is definitely more than we need. So now let's just go get some ender pearls from a bastion. Okay, now let's go up to this bastion over here and start stealing the gold blocks. Okay, that's 16 gold blocks. Let's see what else we can find around this bastion. In fact, you guys all come here. Let's get you all trapped in a hole. Come on. Okay, let's turn these gold blocks into ingots and let's just throw a stack inside of this hole. While they're doing the trading, let's go see if we can get some extra gold to throw them. Oh, let's go. Is there gold all back here? There is. Let's go drop this gold off at our people in the center. Okay, I don't see any more gold in quick vicinity. So let's just see how many ender pearls these guys trade us and we'll go from there. Oh, looks like they're done trading. Oh, we got a full stack of ender pearls. We got 16, which I think should be enough. Hold on. Okay, well, we have all the ender pearls we're gonna need. So now let's just jump back down here and let's start making our way to the end. Okay, so before we actually go to the end, let's Let's turn all of our blaze rods into blaze powder and let's combine it with our ender pearls to get a bunch of eye of ender and now if we simply swim up to the surface this way we can throw off our first eye of ender which is going wow that was perfect i was looking in the exact right direction well we're going this way so let's just keep swimming this way until hopefully we locate the stronghold oh wait the eye turned around we already passed it wait what that's not that far then that's actually pretty close to our base wait what that one broke okay oh what Ow. oh it was a puffer fish a rogue puffer got me that one break too oh no way we just lost two in a row it's going down underwater right here look at this that means the stronghold is somewhere under this ocean okay let's stick around this area to find. Are we in? <gasps> We're in. Yes. Now we just gotta find the portal. Oh, it's right here. It's literally right here. Oh, perfect. And we need all three. Yes, let's go. Why is the dragon already damaged? Wait, what? The fishermen are here. What is that? Gregory the Guardian? What the? I got the Guardian burning. We gotta take out the crystals. Oh, I just shot missiles down at him. Oh, we just blew one of them up. We gotta keep dodging. We gotta get some health back. And boing. Okay, we're good. Yes. Another one down. Nice. Another one gone. Oh, okay. Yes. All the crystals are gone. Okay, so now we just have to actually take out the ender dragon. And honestly, the best way to do that is probably our laser gun. There's one actually below us right here hiding. Can I get him? Oh, I got him. Yes. No. Oh, it's going down. It's actually going down. Hold on. Oh, it's doing a lot of damage to him. Let's jump down there. Let's jump down there. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Reload. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, boy. That almost got me. Okay, we need to get that ender dragon dead as soon as possible. Yep, they're coming back. I got hit by an EMP blast. I don't even know what that does. Oh, it put all my items on cooldown. Nice, we got him, he's dead. No, my sword! Oh, we got the dragon so hurt! He's so low! Oh, get close, come on! Yes! Oh, we killed it! We gotta kill them, we gotta get rid of them. We gotta get that dragon's egg. Grab that torch. Nice, we got him. He's done, he's done. Yes? Yeah, he can't me. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. No! Right click the egg. Where did it go? It's right here, it's right here, it's right here, it's right here. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We got it, we got it, we got it, come on. Yes! We got the dragon's egg! Nice! Now let's grab our ender pearl. And now let's go this way, quick. Now we just gotta get up to that portal. Yes, we're at the outer end. Let's go. It took a couple of days of searching the end, but I eventually found an end city with a elytra inside. Oh, an elytra ship. We found one. Yes, let's go. We got an elytra ship. Okay, now we just have to actually get up to that ship, but there's actually one advancement we need to do first. So let's quickly kill one of these endermen and get one of their ender pearls real fast. And now what we're gonna do is get hit by one of these shulker boxes. So that way we get the levitation effect. And then we're gonna ender pearl way up in the sky, which is actually gonna complete one of the nuke laser designator quests. But we're gonna get the advancement great view from up here. One of these should hit us. There we go. Now we wanna throw this ender pearl really high chuck it go no okay the plan didn't work where normally that does work we have to float 50 blocks though so we may need more than one ender pearl so let's quickly go back down to the bottom real fast and let's get a few ender pearls okay three ender pearls should definitely be enough this time we're gonna build a tower that goes up 50 blocks okay this tower should definitely be tall enough let's chuck an ender pearl down now let's get hit by another shulker and now we just gotta keep getting hit by these dudes Yes, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Okay, that was really difficult. Now let's just go get the elytra inside that ship. Okay, let's go down. Let's get him. Come on, break that. No, what? Okay, let's just hit him. Nice, we got the elytra. Now let's just check this for any other stuff we may want. And there's not really that much stuff. It's just mostly junk. Well, now that we got the elytra and we have the dragon egg, there's only one more thing left that we have to actually get from the end. So let's quickly just throw in these elytra and glide down here real fast because the last item we're gonna need is actually all on these trees right here. And that's chorus fruit. 
And now that we have those chorus fruit, let's simply head on back to the portal and go home. Okay, now let's just bring our chorus fruit over to these furnaces over here and let's throw them in to start smelting. And when they're done, you're going to see down below, we get a pop chorus fruit. Now, once those pop chorus fruit are done smelting, we're going to be able to unlock our next upgrade, the mecha propulsion unit, which is an ability that's going to literally let me launch out of the water. But instead of just jumping, I'm going to launch into the air. Okay, now let's just grab all our chorus fruit down below and let's unlock mecha propulsion unit, which looks like this when in use. I use my mecha propulsion to start flying around the sky where I can now fly double the speed of creative mode. And then on top of that, I can also now fly normally, but that's at only regular speeds. But anyway, now that our mecha shark is truly the king of the sea, the land, and the air, there's only a few things left to do until we actually get to full strength. And for that, I'm just gonna need four end crystals, a beacon, two netherite ingots, and 10 kills in the fisherman using my missiles. Oh, and I also need to get hot tourist destination, which is actually super easy to get now that we can fly. So let's just quickly go to the nether. Okay, now to actually get this advancement, we just have to go to every single biome in the nether, which is obviously really easy when you can fly Mach 9 like I am right now. So we've obviously flown over the red tree biome. We've flown over the blackstone biome area. And really the only biome I'm missing at this point is the blue biome, which if you don't know is the warp forest. So let's just quickly look for one of those and see if we can fly into one. Oh, right here. Here we go. It was one biome. It was just this blue tree biome and we're done just like that. We officially have hot tourist destinations done with. And now while we're here, since we're already at another fortress, let's just start grinding for some wither skeleton skulls. Since to become a great white mechalodon, I'm gonna need a beacon anyway, which means we gotta fight a wither and the only way to get a wither is killing wither skeletons. There it is, the third and final wither skull. Okay, perfect. We have all three wither skulls we need. And now there's only two things left from the nether we're gonna need to become a full strength mecha shark. And that's two netherite ingots for the great white mechalodon and gas tears to make the end crystals. So let's start just by getting the netherite ingots because that's the easiest part. And we can find those by simply flying around and going from bastion to bastion and looting it. So let's just go find a bastion and see if we can get some ancient debris there real quick. Oh, here's a bastion. We found one and it's unlooted. Let's just grab the gold blocks on top. And now let's check out the chests in this place. Let's see what we can find. Okay, let's check out this chest real quick. Okay, there's nothing in here, just a lodestone. We're gonna ignore that. Okay, let's check out this chest here. Whoa, let's go. Gold, another netherite ingot, and an ancient debris. That's literally almost everything we needed. We just need three more ancient debris and we're done. Okay, let's keep checking this place out. There's gotta be more chests here. Oh my goodness. Okay, this chest has two more ancient debris in it, a bunch of obsidian, a bunch of iron, and that's really it. What about this one? And this one has an iron block, and that's that's really it. Okay, well, we just need one more ancient debris, and I'm pretty sure I've looted this whole place, so I don't think I'm gonna find it here. So let's just head to a different bastion real fast and see if we can find one there. Speaking of the devil, there's one generating right here. Okay, now let's make our way to the bottom. Let's see what's in this chest down at the bottom here. Nothing that we can use, really. Okay, so let's go check back over here. Now let's check out these top areas for any items. Okay, this chest is a dud. Oh, yes, one more ancient debris. Literally, that's all we needed. Okay, well, there we go. That's all the netherite we're gonna need. And in fact, there's only one more item we need from the nether, and that's a bunch of gas tears. So let's just start killing gas till we get four gas tears. And there we go. Now we have all the gas tears, which means we're officially done with the nether. So let's just go back to our portal and head on home. And now we start piecing together all our final upgrades. Okay, so let's get started by making two blaze powder real quick and combining it with two ender pearls to make ourselves two extra eye of ender. Now let's take our four gas tiers and put it below that and surround all of that by some glass and that's gonna get us our four end crystals. Now let's throw our ancient debris inside of this blast furnace and let's grab the scraps below once we have four. Now let's just combine that up with some gold and we get our second netherite scrap. And now to finish up the great white mechalodon, we just need to get the beacon, which we can easily do by fighting a wither. So let's just fly somewhere far away from our base and now let's set up the soul sand like this, put all three heads on top and now let the battle begin. I think I should be able to win this with my laser turret pretty easy, but I'm not positive. So let's just see how this goes. <laughs> And there we go, we officially have the nether star, which means we can now make ourselves a beacon with just five glass, three obsidian, and the nether star. So let's just throw the glass in place, the obsidian in place, and then the nether star in place to get ourselves a beacon. And now that that's done, we can say goodbye to our mecha hammerhead shark and hello to the great white mechalodon, a golden great white shark who has turbo boosters on his side to swim faster in both the air and underwater. And so now that we're done with that, there's only one upgrade left to go, and that's unlocking our mecha nuke laser, uh, which is basically just a nuke for our shark. And if you look at our quest up top, we just have to get 10 kills on the fisherman with our heat guided missiles to finish up this quest, which means all I have to do is head to the fisherman's base and victory will be ours. After four days of searching, I finally found the fisherman base, seeing as their last base was completely abandoned. However, this new base surprised me because it not only had tons of hidden rooms, but it also was full of beds. I had no idea which ones were real and which ones were fake, meaning destroying these guys' spawn points is going to be really hard. <gasps> That's player icons. I just saw player icons. There's the fisherman base. Let's open up our missile targeting system and see if we can reach them. You know what? Let's fly over their base. Here we go. Oh, yeah, he's done. And now we're just gonna kill them a bunch of times with our missiles. Now, wait a minute here. They have so many doors. Which one is their base? Wait, no, this is their base. What's with all the doors? I'm so confused. Okay, you know what? Let's just get the missile going. Boom. Oh, no. I just saw that one get creamed. Boom. 
Boom. Okay, that's three kills. He's dead. Oh, wait, four kills. Wait a minute. All kills are counting right now towards this final quest. Well, that's kind of cheap. There we go. Get him with the missiles. Go, boys. Oh, that was lame. Oh, that wasn't lame, though. That wasn't lame. Yes, five. He's done. He's done. Oh, he's toast, right? Oh, gosh. I'm terrible. Yes. He's done. He's done. No way he hit that. I clutched. Take that, dude. Oh, one of them just blew up. I don't even know where. No. Blew one up. We only got to get two more kills. And they just summoned Gregory the Guardian. Let's lock on again. Get down there. And boom. Oh, we got two of them. Never mind. We just got one. We just got to get one more. There we go. Boom! That is all the kills we need. We can officially unlock our nuclear bomb. I don't even know what this is going to be like. Let's just drop the nuke in the middle. I don't even know where they're coming from. I don't need to. I put it right there on accident. It's where I look. Whoa, what is this? Oh. Oh! What, oh, what happened? Oh my gosh. Their whole base just got erased. And just to make sure we survive till day 100 from here, I'm getting out of here. Because, oh my goodness, was that nuke explosion crazy. Okay, our nuke ability is awesome. In fact, now that we've unlocked this nuke, I'm basically invincible. I mean, come on, this ability isn't even fair. Like, look at this. If I put this in the middle of this village, the village doesn't even stand a chance. In fact, let's stand far back and just watch this happen. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. All those mobs just got destroyed. This village literally doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, honestly, I don't know how the fishermen are supposed to beat me. That nuke is busted. And so over the next 11 days, the fishermen made several attacks to try and take me out. None of them worked though. In fact, they didn't even stand a chance. With my lasers, missiles, and a nuke at my disposal, there was almost nothing the fishermen could do to win. Or that's what I thought. But they had one more plan up their sleeve involving elytra. I thought I just heard a rocket. No, I heard a rocket. Hey, wait, we got him! We got him! Dude, what? Bomb. He just wrecked me! Ow, you're dead. He's dead. Nice. What? Oh, gosh. Come on, kill Gregory. Kill Gregory. Nice, he's gone. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Oh, I think one of them just drove past me. Yeah, one of them's in the base. Nice, we got him. He got me with the EMP blast, though, so I can't use any of my abilities, except for flying. Let's get him with the missile. Come on, missiles. Get him. Oh! We got him, baby! Oh, no! Where are they coming in from? They've got to have a base set up nearby here, right? I see one flying in from over here. Oh, that's a good sign. No, there's an island out here. Oh! Here we go. They're somewhere around here. Come on, get him. Get him. Yes! Let's see if we can figure out where they're spawning. Come on. There he is. Boom. Right there. Got him. You know what? Let's do it. Let's drop the nuke somewhere right here. Whoop. Oh, I found the beds. I'm dropping the nuke right on it. There's literally nothing they can do. He's just accepting his fate. Oh, I'm dead! No, yeah, I survived! I survived! Oh! Dude, one of them just went whelp and he's dead. Two of them dead. He's taking wither damage from the nuke. Wait, I'm withering to death, bro! Oh, he's done! The nuke causes tons of wither damage this is ridiculous well we, we we can't do this anymore i knew this was coming dude the nuke is so cool though that's great you can use the nuke without us yeah i'm out Come we don't want to play anymore there's only two more days oh no, dude have fun by yourself well you know what that means guys the mecha shark wins with his amazing lasers thanks for watching bye thanks again to warner brothers games for sponsoring this video